In today's video, we're going to be making pure silicon dioxide, or pure sand, uh, from two relatively common chemicals. So to start, we have 20 milliliters of water in the smaller beaker and 40 milliliters of water in the larger one. And to the smaller, I'm going to add 20 milliliters of sodium silicate, uh, which is also known as water glass. And so that's just going to dilute it down to something that we can use a little easier. So you can see water glass is pretty thick. So I'm going to want to make sure that I got all of that out of here. Uh, and then in the other beaker, I'm going to dissolve 14 grams of sodium bisulfate. And we want to make sure everything is nice and mixed up and dissolved properly. Okay, now that I've got my solutions all evenly mixed and everything's dissolved, we're going to combine the two. And what this does is they react together to form a solution of orthosilicic acid, which is what I'm after and byproducts of water and sodium sulfate. Oh. Now the orthosilicic acid is uh, almost a solid that you can see forming now. It's really thick. sort of gummy. So you want to try and break up these clumps as much as possible just to ensure that everything has been uh, mixed very well. So now that that's done you should be able to see bits of white floating around in there and that's the orthosilicic acid solid or gel rather. So now that we have our orthosilicic acid, uh, the next step is to dehydrate it, drive off some of the water. Uh, and to do that I'm going to heat this with my burner uh, and in a crucible. Uh, it's not really necessary to use a crucible, but that's just what I had handy. So what you want to do is take some of this solid material that we got. You can see it's, it's really like a gel uh, and spoon that into your heating uh, apparatus. And then all you got to do is gently heat this until all the water is gone. And so that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue spooning this material into here and uh, heating it until it's dry. Now you can see after a short while the mixture starts to boil and that's just the water escaping from it. So we want to keep on doing this until the orthosilicic acid is reduced to our final product which is going to be pure white silicon dioxide. Okay I'm done heating my acid and now you can see that it's turned into this nice fluffy white powder. And so this is my product of pure silicon dioxide. Which is a really beautiful pure white. There's going to be a little bit of um, sodium sulfate contamination in there as well, but that's very easy to remove because um, sodium sulfate is soluble in water and silicon dioxide is not. So just by simply washing it a few times with water, uh, you'll remove that impurity. So you can see that the way I do this by simply scooping the uh, gel out of there leaves a little bit of orthosilicic acid in the beaker here, so there's a, a bit on the bottom you can see. So what you can do instead is just simply let this dry 
or try to decant off as much of the liquid as you want uh, and then let that dry. That'll again introduce more impurities of uh, sodium sulfate, but as I said before, that's easy enough to remove by just simply washing it a few times with water. Uh, you can see actually, if I raise it up a bit, on the side here, uh, this is where I was spooning it out, you can see that this acid has uh, dried somewhat into the silicon dioxide already. So it really doesn't take much to dehydrate it, so you can just leave it out and let it go. So after recovering as much as I could from the beaker, uh, and in addition to the stuff that I got from heating it, uh, this is the final product. It's 12.2 grams of nice pure white silicon dioxide. Uh, I also washed it a couple of times, as I mentioned, with water to try and eliminate the uh, sodium sulfate contamination. So this should be fairly pure. So there you go. That's how you make pure silicon dioxide. Thanks for watching.